and you can click open. Oh no! No 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 no! Hello guys, this is Moi Ban. Today I'm going to make a tutorial, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to import every texture into the latest Vroid version, which is the Vroid stable version. And in the end, I will give you some tips for importing textures and mention some great features that you probably want to use in the stable version of Vroid. So please watch until the end. This video is divided by timestamp in the description. Also, feel free to stop by to chill and ask questions if you see me streaming. If you don't know what Vroid is, Vroid is a free software that I always recommend for you to create your original characters. You can even create your own character without knowing how to draw. You basically find textures you like and combine them together. There are lots of websites for Vroid textures and Vroid presets for example, Booth. If you want to know how to download textures from Booth, I have a video here to teach you how to navigate through Booth. And I just opened my own Booth texture shop. You are welcome to check them out if you are looking for some new outfits for your models. So after finding the textures and materials, what you need to do is to import them into your own Vroid models. I will show you how to import every texture into the new version of Vroid, so you can create a 3D model without the drawing skills. So for this video, I've prepared a folder for example materials, and it's here. You don't need to save them in exactly the same place. For example, I just saved them on a folder on the desktop, if you want to use the textures permanently, you probably want to save it in a place where you don't want to delete them, probably together with your Vroid file. Uh, these are the textures I save. It includes a body, a special file that ends with Vroid custom item, and this is only valid for Vroid stable version, and I'm gonna show you how to use it. This is quite convenient to use, and I also have a dress in PNG, eyebrows in PNG. I'm also gonna show you how to import a whole Vroid model if you find one. In this tutorial, I'm going to first of all show you how to load a Vroid model and then I'm going to show you how to load the PNG textures into different parts of the model and then in the end, I'm also going to show you how to use this new feature which is the Vroid custom item to import them into your Vroid model. What you need to do to import a Vroid file is to click the open on top right corner, then navigate to the folder where you save the Vroid file. It's a bit different from the beta version because in the beta version, you have to save the Vroid file exactly in the Vroid folder, but with the stable version of Vroid, you can save your Vroid file anywhere. Vroid can only open .vroid file. It cannot open a VRM file. You have to ask for the .vroid file to open them in Vroid. Or you just simply need to click it and say open. And now the Vroid is going to open the .vroid file. And this is how you import a Vroid model. A few moments later. So now the file is loaded. With this file, you can already come to the export as VRM for your use. First of all, I got a body.png. When you get a body texture, you need to come to the body tab and then you click edit texture on the top right. Here you can see that this is the original texture that comes together with the Vroid model that you imported. So if you want to add a new skin texture, the practice that I think is really useful for me, when you want to add a new texture, you make this original texture invisible by clicking the eye over here. The original skin texture is gone and then you click on the add and then now you see there's one extra layer that's called layer one and now you right click and say import and you need to navigate to the folder where you keep your textures so in here i need to import the body and i say open now you see texture is loaded into the model i can give you a false example and you accidentally import the dress that you have then a dress texture will map out as if it's a skin. When I import a new texture, I will save it as a new item. But when you just want to work around on this texture, you can override the existing texture. Then we come to the dress. So when you come to outfit, you can see there's tops, bottoms, dress. If I want to import the dress texture, first of all, I need to create a new dress. This window will pop up and show you 
different dress that they are having. So actually, each type of dress can have different texture template. You have to make sure that you are loading the correct texture for your desired type of clothes. For example, if you get a t-shirt, you cannot load them into your hoodie texture. Since I got a PNG for the dress, I just need to click on the basic dress. But now the Vroid created me a dress, so I go to edit texture. As usual, I create a layer by pressing on plus, and then I right click and say import. Then I click on the dress and I click open. Now you see the dress has imported into my Vroid model and I need to hide the one on the bottom. Okay, so this is how I import the clothes. You can import the rest of the clothes in the same manner. I'm also going to import shoe just for an uh, example. And when it comes to shoes, you need to first of all go to the shoes tab and then create new. For example, sneakers and boots are having different texture layout. I'm going to try again with chunky sole boots so I can edit this texture. Since I don't need to use this texture anymore, I can just override it by import a new texture. So I click on shoes and click open. Now my outfit is pretty much finished. First of all, for example, if you want to edit the skin, you can use the same principle as create a new skin template, edit texture, and then just override this existing texture or create a new layer, right click and import, and then click on the face and say open. This is how the texture I got look like. And if you want to, for example, override the irises, I hope it doesn't scare anyone. To override the irises, you just hide what you already have, hide everything, and then create a new layer, and then import the iris from here, and you can click open. Oh no. Okay, this is very scary. Now when you get a hair, how do you import it? So first of all, if you just download some hair texture, and I'll use some presets as an example, hair and then you need to go to edit a hairstyle and to load your hair texture you need to find a hair okay so i grab onto hair and uh, if i scroll down you probably can see where the material is at uh, name it however you want and say okay just not to confuse it and now you need to untick the main color and the highlight color so you can import your own texture and you click edit texture after you open the material texture editor you can create a new layer and then import the hair texture that you got so i click open this is how it looks in the model but what if you get a hair preset you want to load them in i've added two hair presets that i found in the folder you can just directly import them from your download folder this is one of the features of stable vroid studio that i really like and it doesn't matter if it's a dress or if it's a hair because after you import these Vroid custom items, they will automatically put them to the correct place. So I have three Vroid custom items here. And I know these two are the hair preset and this is a Chinese New Year dress. So for example, I know it's a dress, but I'm under the hair. And the most convenient part about having these Vroid custom items is that you can just click anywhere that has a import button. You just click on import in the folder where you save your Vroid custom items. You just select whatever you need. For example, even though I'm in the hair, I will click on the Chinese New Year dress and I'll click open. It says import successfully, so I can wear now. It will automatically direct you to where this, this item was exported from. Because I see there's an import here, I just click on import, and I'll click one of the hairs. And as you can see, it's automatically directing me to the hair, and it's a part of the extension. So if I click on wear now, and this is the item that I have just imported. And I can e import the last one here. So this is really convenient when you get a Vroid custom item and you don't know which part it is belonged to. You just need to import it into Vroid and Vroid will figure it out for you. The only disadvantage is that you cannot use these Vroid custom items in the beta version, but you can use the PNG files in Vroid beta version. And that's it for this video. In this video, first I showed how to import whole Vroid model and then I showed you how to import textures into different parts of your body and also showed you a new feature of import the Vroid custom items 
into your Vroid model. If this video is helpful for you, please give it a like and leave a comment down below. And also, if you want to have some suggestions or you have more tips to share, please leave a comment as well. Please subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. You can also support the content by joining this channel's membership. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!